Now let's design the back side of the credential. The back side includes a barcode on the black K layer. The black layer is already active, so we drop the barcode field onto the bottom of the credential. If your credential uses a QR code, you would use the barcode field for that as well. Be careful where you place this field. Barcodes require a quiet zone around them for accurate reading, so make sure you do not place it too close to the other fields or the edge of the credential. This barcode will be used for the student's 8-digit ID number, so we enter 8 digits in the sample data field. It's important to enter the right number of digits to make sure that the field is large enough to support all of the characters. You'll see slashes in the field if it is not wide enough. Click Advanced and select your barcode type and density. We are assuming that you know this information for your barcode, as well as its format and whether it supports checksum formulas or supplemental digits. If your credential uses a QR code, you would choose QR code from the barcode type drop-down list. Turn Interpretation Text on and specify the font properties. Interpretation text displays human readable text printed beneath the barcode that is equivalent to the barcode's content. Make sure you specify enough height in the general section to include interpretation text in addition to the bar height. To include a security feature that makes the ID more difficult to duplicate, we'll use the advanced features of the photograph field. First, we need to switch to the color layer. Remember, we need to enable and then activate the layer. For our design, we draw a rectangle and specify its properties. You can turn on the grid to help you with its placement. Then, within the rectangle, place two photographs of the student that overlap partially, one in the top left corner and one in the lower right corner. We make one photograph color and semi-opaque and the other grayscale. We select the lower right photograph and specify its properties. Next, we expand the advanced section and select the ghosting option, display the photograph semi-opaque. You can drag the slider bar to change the opaque percentage. Now, we select the upper left image and specify its properties. In the advanced section, we select both Remove Backdrop and Display the Photograph Grayscale. Before we finish, we also want to add a top coat to the back of the credential, so we enable and activate the top coat layer on the back. That completes the design for this credential. Click Save. Click Print Sample to verify that your credential design prints on the credential as you envisioned. Click Close to return to your list of credential designs. In the next section, we'll look at our second example.